Hey, badass business owners, it's Tammy. And something's come up that I want to get on camera just because I want to get this out. Uh, and that has to do when I hear people talk about the fact that they can't grow their business because there's just way too much competition, that they can't start a business because there's way too much competition. There's way too many people doing what it is that I want to do. It, and what made me want to put this video out is I was leaving my house this morning and it's the same thing that I saw yesterday when I last left my house and the day before when I left my house. Right now here in Arizona, we had some rain and we're starting to see weeds everywhere. Weeds are popping up left and right. And I literally go past about, I'd say maybe 25 houses on my way out of my subdivision that I can see. I mean, there's a lot more than that. But of those 25 houses, there have been probably five, five different landscapers that have been working on people's yards, getting their weeds and picking them up and everything else. Not one or two landscapers, not the big landscapers that do the entire community. I'm talking about independent business owners that are making a killing right now because they're going from house to house to house to house getting those weeds. Whether they're spraying for the weeds, they're getting the weeds. Now, granted, these folks are the small time folks. They're getting their foot in the door. And some of them will disappear a year from now because they don't build the right business model to sustain any kind of profitability, which is something I talk, that's a different subject for a different day. But for today, they're out there hustling and they're making some money. And landscaping is a great example of anybody can pick up their mower, their weed whacker. Matter of fact, for our weeds here, we have rock for the most part. All they've got to do is get something that helps them pull all the weeds out of the ground and maybe a hedge trimmer to trim up the hedges. And guess what? They can make someone's front yard look beautiful again. Not a lot of money, lot of, not a lot of equipment, just basically some time, get in, get out, and get really good at their craft. And then from there, decide how they want to take that business and how they want to grow it. And we don't even have yards to mow for the most part. I mean, there are a few here and there. My point is, it's not just landscaping. It's all across the board. There are all kinds of opportunities out there that people just don't understand. I've been complaining for months now that we are about to start seeing a boom in even bigger roofing jobs here in town. And guess what? There is no major roofer here in our town. People are gonna have to go up to the valley and call people to come on down here to take care of major roof issues. We have a lot of small folks that can do uh, basic roof repairs for a couple hundred bucks and stuff like that. Once again, there never seems to be one when you need one. So it's another great opportunity for someone to get into if they really understand roofing. My point of this entire rant is do not move forward with your business because you're worried that there's too much competition, that how are you ever going to be seen? How are you ever going to be found? How are, is there's not enough business out there? There is plenty of business out there. And by the way, we're hearing all these things about, oh, the recession and things are going down and people don't have money and the price of gas and this and that. Three, three people across 25 houses are paying a landscaper to do their front yard today. Not the homeowner out there ripping up their weeds or doing any of that. They're paying someone to come take care of that pain point for them. My point is, please don't let your dream die. If you wanna build a small business or your business is struggling and you just don't know how to get out there, listen, we need to step back and we need to look at what you need to do, but there is plenty of business. Do not, I say, do not ever blame too much competition for the reason you can't get your business off the ground. It just isn't true.